led by the Vice-Chancellor and the Chair of Council, led the, re, led the residents, staff and members of the UCT community in reflecting on the life of Nelson Mandela. It was a very important moment for the community and what we particularly remembered is the role and importance that Mandela placed on getting an education. And that was a theme that was covered in all of the speeches that were delivered today by the different people who spoke. This is a very sad day indeed for South Africa. We are dumbfounded and at a loss. The passing away of Madeba marks the end of an era of such a distinctive caliber of leadership that has served our country so well with integrity and honor. A leadership that had a sense of purpose and which espoused excellence in all it did. Madiba stood at the podium here in Jammy Hall behind me, where he delivered the fifth annual Steve Biko Memorial Lecture, offering lessons to the youth. He said, and I quote, I hope you will hear this lesson and teach young people the value of national pride, unquote. He was speaking of martyrs like Steve Biko and Neil Agate, a medical graduate of UCT who also died in security detention. They died fighting for the struggle against apartheid. Mandela was talking especially about the commitment that those and other young people had made and must make, reflecting on the contributions of the Soweto uprisings and the youth and the school children there, and the role of the student movements in South Africa and throughout the world in the anti-apartheid struggle. His message to students was that, like those struggle heroes, they should commit themselves to a struggle not for personal gain, not for sectarian or partisan benefit, but for the nation, for what was right, for the public good, and for the dignity of all. In his address at the graduation ceremony, Mr. Mandela replied with tributes to UCT and its students. He referred to the struggle for academic freedom and against the imposition of university apartheid and also noted the university's opposition to the state of emergency and the 90-day detention laws. He expressed particular gratitude to those who had raised funds for books and donated textbooks for Robben Islanders, which had been of great benefit to them and made them aware that they were not forgotten. As students, we realize the great contribution that Utata Umadiba has made Today we are able to walk free into a prestigious university like UCT and be counted as, as those that have been able to get an education. In the words of former President Nelson Mandela, he said, I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world, unquote. What 
UCT has done is that we've created a number of sites, not only on uh, where you see us right now in the Ben Vinart and Richard Lates room, where people can come and write messages. We've also allowed students to lay tributes where they want on the Jamison stairs to remember Mandela. And what we're also doing is on the UCT website, staff and students and members of the UCT community and the public can post messages of condolence to the family. All of those will be collected together and they'll be put as a collective of memories that UCT would like to use to commemorate his life. Um, living out of the country for three years, I knew obviously he was ill and it was one of those important moments that you will never forget and I am fortunate to be here that I can pay tribute. As a UCT student I'm just really happy that so many people came out to like pay tribute to Nelson Mandela. It's always such an inspiration. If it wasn't for him I wouldn't be standing here today. I wouldn't have been a staff member at UCT. Like 30 years ago we wouldn't have a gathering like this of black and white on these very stairs and how, how Mandela has changed that. There's one man. And we are the Mandela generation and today marks a very symbolic day in our lives that we must maintain his legacy and his legacy lives on. My condolences really do go out to the nation because Utata was part of us. Whether or not you're family, he really belonged to us as a nation.